Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, commoners. Um, welcome to what my chickens would call pacha, kacha. <laughs> um, Stephen, you may begin. Everybody has that aunt, friend, or worse, mother, <laughs> who's a crazy cat lady. But amongst my friends and family and acquaintances, I am that crazy cat lady. Only my cats are feathered, not furred. My obsession for backyard chickens and the lifestyle I have come to call my poultry queendom is glamorously real. <laughs> my life is a blend of competitive gardening, glamping, gun-toting, um, all while being an animal enthusiast, a fancy farm girl, shaken together with a touch of crazy chicken lady, AKA poultry queen. Side fact, the city of Bozeman ordinance states that one must apply for a chicken keeping permit. The limit per property is four chickens. I have 10. Um, you might also note that the city of Bozeman states that it's two dogs per property. Uh, one of those is a mini horse, <laughs> just so we're clear. <laughs> so what is a poultry queen? Well, each queen has her own story and alter ego. To capture the queen in her element, I collaborate with the bona fide chicken photographer, Lonnie Carr. This is me during my Poultry Queen portrait session. <laughs> Ooh, thanks. Um, <laughs> I recently was explaining my small business side hustle, Poultry House, and my Poultry Queendom to a middle-aged man who was clearly confused but slightly amused. Um, he said to me, when I look at you, all I see is beauty, trouble, and expense. <laughs> I thought it was a compliment. <laughs> if only he knew what really went on, though. Um, <laughs> We've worked to create a small crew of gals who are part chicken wranglers, part chicken whisperers, and the rest, I think I saw this on Pinterest once, kind of girls, and they all understand um, what it means when I say, fluff that chicken, she's wilting. <laughs> Basically, we're a band of gals who like to play big girl dress up and drink tequila. <laughs> so um, sometimes this whole false reality thing <laughs> is really sophisticated. Um, you always start off so classy and it just goes downhill from there. So <laughs> look alive. Anyway, Marie Antoinette here, when I look at her, I think avant-garde, high fashion, sexy. Um, this was shortly after she said to me, I think I just got shit on. <laughs> so let's talk about accessories. <laughs> I know, ladies. Accessories are like your best girlfriend who helps you bury a dead body under that new concrete slab you just poured for your chicken condo. Um, or it's a chicken bangle, okay? So um, perfectly metalsmith for that favorite hen or cock in your life. And it's really, really important to remember that chicken keeping is sexy. So <laughs> whether you're raising your birds to glam them up in gold bracelets or as lawn ornaments for your organic, free-range, gluten-free, anti-GMO, no, we don't eat them, they have names kind of farm, it's always sexy. So sexy. We really like to highlight a queen's best asset and incorporate fun and funky pops um, to enhance the poultry queen's alter ego. So this is Cheryl, and um, she's a gorgeous redhead who loves vintage things and uh, with tattoos and resto mods, that type of thing. So she harbors all this passion um, with her 25 chickens that she manages at work, and she likes to go to car shows with her husband. And again, it's a 1952 Ford F1 resto mod. So if you aren't into chickens, maybe you're into turkeys. <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up after all. So this is Circe. Um, she's the epitome of a Montana woman, wild and free. She was born in Bozeman, Montana. You don't find that too often anymore, right, California? <laughs> She's a tried and true country girl who likes to channel her inner Annie Oakley. <laughs> Rumor has it her mother, Kathy, who I know is here tonight, um, gave birth to her and her two siblings on separate occasions, thank goodness, on a bearskin rug in a teepee in the dead of a Montana winter. <laughs> That's commitment. Uh, this is Julia. She's a dark-haired Ukrainian native with a calm demeanor and a hidden sass. Her <laughs> humor is always on point and accompanied by what we call a cluckle. 
half cackle, half chuckle. And she recalls her grandmother's flock of chickens, which she always proclaimed, were only for eggs and meat. <laughs> this is Margot. Her beauty abounds. She also might kill. <laughs> She has a reputation of grace and rigidity, like dueling dancers from within. She's the daughter of a Floridian orange farmer who migrated from Poland during World War II, and she was born to dance. As prima ballerina for one dance company after the next, she made her way from Florida to New York City, dancing front stage all the way up the East Coast. She brought a touch of her country life with her to the Big Apple, Billy Idol, her prized Polish rooster. She occasionally appears on stage with her feathered co-star. Dolly Lepowski. <laughs> She's a powerhouse. Born in Magnolia, Arkansas, her father always said, Dolly, you will change the world just by showing up. <laughs> I say, hey, girl. <laughs> so uh, she ran away, hitched up a family's camper, threw the hens in their crates, and stole the boyfriend's pickup truck. She's currently headed west and keeping near the Canadian border so she can jump across anytime that scumbag might get on her trail. <laughs> she hopes to settle down in a coastal town, opening a bakery called Dolly and Gals. She might be selling other things too. <laughs> in closing, I'd like to thank Martha Stewart for tainting my perception of crafting and reality. It's like a Venn diagram with a whole lot of gray. I really can relate to you. I mean, we're both criminals. I'm not into inside trading, but I do have more chickens than I'm supposed to in town. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank my husband, the elusive poultry king. You've had it up to here with my chicken shit. Blow dried chickens before photo shoots and um, you know, built all kinds of chicken containing contraptions. So remember that time I caught you reading Backyard Poultry Magazine? That says cannibalism, okay? <laughs> You rock, honey, but just remember, if one chicken dies on your time, 12 more appear. Happy wife, happy life.